It's Tuesday, the 5th of December 2017, and we are pleased to bring you today's edition of Local News. Welcome. In the news, Hijet in financial problems, Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries wants to ensure food safety and food security. Third Bishop for the Moravian community, Haitian fenders still guilty of selling goods in the streets. I am Randy Kromadi Harjo, and your local news begins now. More than 100 defaulters and the search for the missing helicopter have made that Hijet is currently in financial problems. This was recently presented to the press by the Hijet leadership. The number of helicopters has decreased by more than half. One of the 10 machines, three are left and the parts that were found in the Matawai area are almost unusable. The Hijet leadership also says that services are still being performed. There is a backlog in repayment, but the need for helicopter services is still there. The Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, LVV, wants to work on a department that should be charged with the inspection of irregularities during use of pesticides. This is necessary to ensure food safety and food security. Pesticides are not bad, but if not used according to the regulations, it can have negative consequences for humans, animals and nature. By setting up the department, more information can be given about the correct use of these resources, says policy advisors to LVV, Carmen van Dijk. The greatest danger of irregular use of pesticides is the remaining of residues of pesticides on food corps. Therefore, fruit and vegetables, for example, should not be sprayed shortly before harvest. According to Van Dijk, stricter control should be applied to these operations. In the first phase, the ministry wants to train and deploy 16 inspectors in nationwide. In the first phase, the ministry wants to train and deploy 16 inspectors nationwide. The Moravian community, ABGS, experienced yesterday a special moment when praises Reynold Panza was consecrated to bishop. He replaces the retired bishop Emil Rietveld. The 18th Provincial Synod of the ABGS was held in the period the 21st of August till the 25th of August 2017. Father Reynold Dos Panza was elected bishop of the Unitas Fratrum or the Worldwide Brotherhood. The bishop was chosen from three presbyters in a second electoral round. The other candidates were Sister Lucia Breveld and Father Ferdinand Lachman. The ABGS received congratulations from the Dutch and South Africa Brotherhood community. The blessing ceremony was a solemn moment. Through singing, Anna Marie Sanchez tried to point out to the brand new bishop, who is regarded as the shepherd of the shepherds, that a prayer is of eminent importance in the life of a Christian. With the blessing of Bishop Panza, the ABGS now has two, two active member bishops. These are Bishop John Kent and Bishop Reynold Panza. After five months after the establishment of the Unity Market, where the Haitian vendors are accommodated, it turns out that some of them are still selling their goods along the waterkant. Simon Manisel, chairman of the Cooperative of Haitian Farmers in Suriname, strongly disapproves of the fact that a few vendors are stepping over the line. Manisel is grateful to the government for conceding to the Haitian farmers by providing them a place to sell their goods. The District Commissioner of Paramaribo Northeast, Mike Nerkus, thinks that the vendors should also sell fish and meat products. Not all market vendors are guilty of this. As for now, this is your local news of today. Thank you for joining us until tomorrow.